The problem with trust is that some tailors develop over the years in their business a huge ego because they have a very strange occupation. They sit in their tailor store, they cannot look at what their competi competitors are doing, they cannot walk in all the other stores and look what they're doing. They must build a huge trust in themselves. They must really be convinced that they are great tailors because they must sell something to customers that doesn't exist. The customer goes inside, maybe he likes the tailor and then he pays a big a third of the price and then he leaves again. So he has bought something that doesn't exist yet. He, he buys something that he cannot see. So he must trust the tailor. So tailors tend to blow up their egos in order to um, create confidence on the side of the customer. And this can lead to cases where the tailor has such a big ego that he doesn't notice his deficiencies. And this has, ha has happened to me also. I have walked into a tailor shop and I was misled by sympathy and I was misled by the ego that I was confronted with because the tailor was so self-confident, he was so confident in himself that I really believed everything what he said. He said, well, I've been making suits for 20 years and my customers are Mr. So-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and then you think, oh, this guy is so great, such a pro. And then you see the fitting and maybe at the first fitting you don't notice, but at the second fitting or when the suit is finished, you find out that this tailor is no good. That he, is, that he doesn't work on a high professional level and then the whole thing turns out to be a big disappointment. So you must be careful with trust. It's better to ask for recommendations, to ask for reference, to look at people who use this tailor than just trusting because it's, it's like buying cars from a used car salesman, you know. They can tell you anything, that's like tailors. And, and a used car salesman at least has the car that you can look at, but the tailor will only sell you air. He sells you a story, he sells you a dream, so be careful.